Now, once we have our libraries ready, so we got SQL Alchemy and we also got the Postgres driver, it's time to start with the configuration. Now, why do we need configuration? So let's say if I go back to main now, this is where we are. And let's say if I now say in this get all products, instead of returning this particular list, which we are doing here, I want to connect to database. So of course, before we do this, there should be some database connection. So I will write some statements here. Okay, again, I have to disable or snooze my copilot. Okay, I will write in a comment. I need a database connection because without database connection, how will you connect to database? And once you are connected, then you want to fire some query, right? Uh, which will do. So here we have to write some query. So first we have to create database connection and then we can write the query. Now we know that in fact, in the previous video, we have talked about we are going to use SQL Alchemy. So I want to create this database connection, which talks to the, the SQL Alchemy. And to do that, of course, I can do all the configuration in this file, but it's better to have in a separate file. And this, I will say database.py, or you can say config.py, whatever works for you. So I will say database.py, and this is where you have to do, do the configuration. So basically what you need, the first thing you need here is something called session local now using the session local we have to first of all create this object here so that we can use that object in our main file so database connection so we'll be using session local to access the data database but how do you create object of session local now first of all what is session so every time you connect to something it's a session so if you connect to a server that's one session if you connect to a database that's one session Okay, and you, you need to create a session before you do these operations. Now to create a session, we got something called a session maker. So we'll be using that and this will create the object of session local. But then from where you are going to get this session maker. Also, uh, for session local, you can name it anything. If you want to use it as only session that works, uh, this is just a variable. Now to get the session maker you need to import that from sql alchemy and that too from sql alchemy dot orm because we are going to use orm here and i'm going to import session maker okay this is the inbuilt part we just have to use it so you can see session maker is a class and we just have to call the constructor it will create the object for us but then this session maker will take some parameters the first parameter it will take is the for the commit so whenever you do database transactions normally we have to do the commit for it but by default it will be auto commit we have to disable it so we'll say auto commit equal to false and you can get these values uh, from the session maker so if you scroll down there should be these variables which you have to assign okay there's one constructor which is engine will be passing that as well and there should be another constructor which will take all these values so we can see we have something called auto flush and there should be something with the commit we'll do auto flush as well but i'm looking for the commit where is it i should have searched for it but sometimes scrolling works because you come across certain new things uh, but still i will now search for auto commit yeah so this is auto commit and i think by default is false so that's we can we don't have to set that auto flush is true so we have to disable this but we'll disable both okay so we'll come back here and this is false and we'll also do auto flush as false not true and then the third part is you have to set the engine now remember remember when we looked at that there is also engine which you have to set the value for and we can do that with the help of bind bind equal to engine now what is this engine here now engine here helps you to connect with the database because you have to also specify the which database you're working with because nowhere we have mentioned that now so for the, your python application yes you're connecting to the database but which one we have no idea it can be mysql postgres oracle so you have to mention that also for the particular dbms you have to also set the username and password so we can do that with the help of engine. So you can say create engine. And this is where you have to pass all the values. So in this, you have to pass which DBMS you're working with, what is the link to connect to it, username and password, and what is your database name. And we can put that here. And the ideal way of doing that is something called a DB URL. So I will create a DB URL here. And let's create a URL, which is 
postgres sql colon slash slash localhost colon 5432 that's a port number and then you have to mention your database now this particular url is pretty common uh, whenever you work with rdbms if you are working with let's say mysql you will say mysql colon localhost colon uh, 5430 local uh, uh, no, so for MySQL, the port number changes. I, th I, I think I forgot the port number for MySQL. I think it's just 3306. And if you are using Oracle, you have to put the port number for Oracle, which starts with 1 and ends with 7. I forgot the number. But you got the point, right? Uh, this will change and this will change. But also, I want to specify the username and password. I know what I'm doing that. So there are multiple ways of doing this because if you click on Create Engine, okay, I'm not able to go inside it. Okay, it's because it's not able to detect it. So I will import that as well from SQL Alchemy and import Create Engine. Okay, now I, I should be able to click it. So you can see it is asking you for the URL and also you can pass certain other parameters. Okay, but then I'm not going to pass those things from here. I mean, separately the username password. I'm going to pass in the URL itself. And yes, you can do that. So the, the basic syntax is you mention Postgres SQL colon slash slash. And then after two slash, you mention your username. For Postgres, the default username is Postgres itself. And then you give a colon and then you specify the password. I'm just guessing the password for this particular machine is 1234567 for for postgres let's see if it is working or not and then you say at the rate so username password at the rate localhost colon the port number slash database this is the url which you have to work with and the same url now you just have to pass it here so db url and your job is done by doing this you are now able to connect with the database hopefully hopefully Okay, let's keep it as session if that works. So we got session, uh, session maker and these things. Now, once you have your database.py file ready, it's time to go for the next step. The next step is very simple. Go back to main and here, instead of database connection, we can create the object for session, which we have done that before. Or maybe I will just write db and I can say session. But now if you see... This is not recognizing because it's a part of database. I just have to import this. So come back here and say from database import session. We can get the access to it. And I think there's no problem. You can see there's no problem here. And now with the help of DB, you can fire the query. As simple as that. Okay, once you get the hold of DB, you can fire the query. So I can say DB dot, there's an option of query in which you have to pass the query. Uh, but then what exactly the query I'm going to pass here? Am I going to write the actual SQL query? Uh, of course not, because we are using SQL Alchemy. So we I want to use the ORM feature of that. I just have to work with the Python objects and it should create the query for me. So if I want to say save it, it should create the insert query. If I say fetch, it should create a select query. The SQL Alchemy should do that. But the question arises nowhere. We have done the mapping for the database and the class. The class is there. Okay, the class is there, but this class is Pydentic, okay? And when you try to connect with the SQL Alchemy, it will say, okay, something is not matching. It's not my syntax. So you have to basically create another product class for the SQL Alchemy, for the database. So the database schema will be created based on that particular class of product. And plus, you can mention the column types. You can mention what column you're working with, column name, column type. And if you want to add some filters to it or the special access, let's say if you want to specify a particular column as a primary key. So you can, you should be able to do that here. I mean, not here because this is a parentic based model. You can't basically add, hey, this is a primary key. You have to do that in this separate class. And also, there's no way here you can change the table name because it's a Pydentic again. So you need a class of product for the Pydentic for the data validation. And you, just, you need a separate class of product for the SQL Alchemy. And how do we create that? Let's see that in the next part.